Hello everybody, it's Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV. Today we're going to revisit the infamous sciatica. Yes, uh, one of my most popular videos on YouTube is me sitting in a chair showing you how to do a stretch for your backside of your hip or your piriformis area, piriformis for piriformis syndrome and uh, you know amazing results hundreds of people commenting immediate relief wow doc you're the best right uh, but on the other side of that there's also that handful of comments of people who had exacerbated trouble or it didn't help them at all by doing it and i want to address that segment because likely that segment of the population is not suffering from actual uh, hip problems or piriformis trigger points or anything like that that's causing their leg pain or their glute pain. They're more likely suffering from a disc injury and that's what I want to discuss with you today more in depth. And I had this conversation with a woman who was in the next booth over at a recent expo, Rebecca and I did, and she was having, she was, she's like, oh my gosh, my leg's killing me. Right, you know, my, my butt's killing me and I just can't stand it. And I said, well, let's try this. And I had her sit and she stretched, put, her, put the leg up and stretched forward. And she was like, no, it's still hurting. And she said, it's actually you're really starting to burn. So, I'm, I'm, so I said, what? I said, let's stop that and let's try something different because it's probably not your hip and these muscles in your, in your butt. What we're looking for here is, especially if it's on one side, Okay, if it's on one side, and especially if you have what's they, what they call antalgia, meaning you lean forward and away, that means you probably have a little disc bulge or a, a slight disc herniation that's going backwards and to the right. So you're trying to get away from it. Can you see that? I'm leaning away from it. And especially if you have this lean, you likely have a disc issue. Now, how do you fix this disc issue? And even if you don't have the lean, that much lean, and even if uh, your pain is only kind of in, in through your lower back and in through your glute, this is still worth a try for you, okay? So what I'm saying is if it's on the opposite side, so if, you're, if your pain is going down your right side or in your right glute, okay? If it's going through here, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your left side against the wall, okay? This is called a side glide, and this is through the McKinsey method of physical therapy for discs. What we're going to do is you're going to nestle yourself, uh, you're going to put your feet a couple of feet away from the wall. You probably can't see my feet, but you're going to be a couple of feet away from the wall, and you're going to keep your shoulders level, and you're going to just lean against your arm. You don't want to be real shrugged up like this. You're going to lean against your arm, and you're very simply going to allow your pelvis to glide towards the wall. Now, what you're going to pay attention to as you do this is you're going to pay attention to what's going on in your glute or down your leg because it might cause your back to actually be more mechanically sensitive, might make it hurt just a little bit. And if it does, that's okay as long as the symptoms are dissipating out of your leg, especially if they're in your ankle, did they go to your knee? We want the pain to centralize, not peripheralize. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. We're going to centralize the pain. We want you to have back pain. We don't want you to have anything in your glutes, your leg, down the outside, into your foot. We don't want that. We want it to centralize. And that's what we're looking for. We're going to shift. Now, if this shift is too painful, what you're going to do is you're going to lean forward just a touch, maybe 10 degrees, 20 degrees maybe, and do the same thing with a slight forward shift because maybe you're not quite ready for full extension, especially if you tend to want to do this to get away from your pain. Okay, So you're going to shift with slight forwardness and once, once you start to centralize the pain, and if it gets better, then you're going to try and extend more and more. Okay, does it make sense? So you're going to do a few reps like this. And in general, what we're going to do is we're going to let it fall. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths. Okay? And try to breathe low and slow and relaxed. And just pay attention to what's going on in your leg. That is the side glide maneuver. 
it could be what you're looking for. It could possibly not be what you're looking for, but I just wanted to offer it as another possibility if you're having sciatic pain as one more tool in your toolbox for a potential disc injury. So if you have any questions or comments about that, please visit me at the blog. I don't usually interact on YouTube, uh, but if you want to interact and get a higher uh, possibility of a response, please go to the blog at gettoyourcore.com. And actually in the description under this video, if you're on YouTube, you'll see the link that goes right to the blog post and you can talk to me there. All right. Thank you guys so much and try this out and let me know what you think. Okay. Bye-bye.